my ESL student, so just for, just for the day. And we would have started something uh, very simple uh, for us to speak a little English. So, um, in, in a regular speech, in Eng English, English speaking, um, we use verbs, and verbs reflect our actions. So we're going to study today uh, present continuous, and we're going to um, we're going to do it in an in in easy way. Um, I gave you these whiteboards, so we're going to do um, some exercises. When we talk about present continuous, um, the verb in present continuous expresses that something is happening now. So, like I am talking right now, I'm standing right now. Um, I'm looking right now. I'm speaking right now. So there's there are ac actions happening. So the present continuous can be expressed in three ways: as a statement, as a question, or as a negation. So we're gonna do ten exercises. I gave you your, your whiteboards. What I need you to do? Um, oh, I'm gonna show you some examples first before before I go on. So um, so as, as I said, uh, there's there's something happening when, with the verb. The verb is an action when, um, with the present continuous, it's, it's occurring. So, most of the time you will find the present continuous with the ing. So, watching, walking, talking, um, looking, thinking. So, the ing will accompany the verb at all times. So, as you can see over there or over here, if the example is you are watching TV, that's just a statement. And then you can use it as a question. Are you watching TV? Um, and then, it's a negation as I said before. You are not watching TV. So there's there's three ways that we, we can look at it. So those are the three examples that I have for you. So what I need you to do, and your your whiteboards, um, we're gonna um, fill in the blanks. The verb is learn. So we have to we have to finish that statement. So um, I'm sorry sorry Andrew. <coughs> So what, what would that be? You, remember we have to use is, are, or am. Um. So learn, just, you are learning. Yeah, Fatima, you got it right, you got it? Yeah, you, yeah, thank you. Okay, let's look at the, the second one. So the verb is swim. So remember we have to use is, are, or am. Um. So you, or not swim. No, you are. Oh! <laughs> so it's you. You are not swimming. You are not swimming. Yes. You are not swimming. You're not swimming now. Yes. Okay, let's look at number three. Um, this is a question. Slip. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you all got it right. Okay, let's look at number four. <clears throat> Sit. I. I am sitting. You supp you're supposed to put um or are. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That that will work. But I saw that's that's past tense. We're looking at present continuous. Remember, you have to use ing with it. You got it. I have put ing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So look at number five. Stand. So this is a negation because he has not. I am not standing. Yes, you all got it right. You got it? Good. Okay. Like, look at number six. <laughs> so in this we're going to use two verbs, sit and stand. So what, what would that be? Yeah. Is he sitting? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Okay, let's look at number seven. So this is this is a plural and the verb is to read. So they are reading their books. Yes. Look at number eight. We have just a couple more to go. Uh, so this is a negation. They are not. Um, they are not watching television. Yes. Okay, then, and this is the verb to do, so what are you doing, yes, and then this is the last one, 
So this is a, a negation. And in the, in the question at the same time. Why are you not doing your homework? And that's the end. Thank you. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's, it's very simple, uh, but because we are learning English, so we have, we have to pay attention to the form, especially when we have to add the ing to the verb. Um, we have to identify if it's a question or a statement, and there's a negation on the statement as well. So with this, I'll conclude my, my lesson on the present continuous. Thank you.